what's up guys? Thank you guys very much for coming and hanging out with me today. I wanted to do another all-wheel drive drift build on Forza Horizon 3 simply because I've, I've only done it once and I actually remember liking it very, very much. Uh, I am going to say if you guys do enjoy this video, don't forget to slay that like button. And if you guys are new, uh, don't forget to subscribe. We do two videos a day, Monday through Friday, and I'm running out of ideas. So if you guys can maybe give me some ideas on some cars that you guys would like to see, that would be really awesome. Anyway, the car that I've chosen for today's video is the GMC Cyclone, which I know is kind of odd, and you don't really see this used very much, which is why I chose it. Um, it's one of those trucks that, I mean, you just don't see it used, you don't see it anywhere, even in real life. You know, I've, I've never seen a Cyclone, like, like, actually in front of me, in person. And I wanted to see if maybe we can... Give it some kind of application. Maybe see if we can give it a meaning to live. And I think that's what we're going to do today. So we are going to go into the upgrades. And it's going to be free, yes, because I'm cheap and don't want to waste any of my money. It's a already C class, so interesting. Like I said, this is going to be an all-wheel drive drift slash Gymkhana build. So I'm kind of interested to see what engines we can put in this thing. Now, I am relatively tempted to actually put in the... Uh, the Viper engine. I think that could be kind of crazy. But, um, you know, it actually gives us some fairly decent figures. Huh. You know what? No. No, no. We're going to stick the uh, 6.2 in here. And we're also going to throw on a supercharger. Because, why the hell not? And with this being a Gymkhana build, I do kind of want to throw on some arrow. But, at the same time, I don't want to. I actually quite like it with the, uh, the stock car spoiled on the rear, but you know, I, I don't think we're going to. I think we're actually going to leave it the way it is. And we're going to maybe see what do we have for the rear. So we can go all the way up to 325s in the rear. That's a bit overkill, but maybe some 255s in the rear. And we'll see what we can do in the front. We might leave the fronts alone. So let's actually, let's beef up the rear just one more time, up to 285s. Leave the fronts the way they are. Maybe see if we can find some decent wheels but we're going to come back to those because i would rather get the car or truck rather lower before we uh do anything to the wheels simply because i don't really know what to expect now obviously we're going to do a maxed out drive line so let's go ahead and do all of this or drive train i, I looked up immediately to the left and saw drive line my mind immediately just you know went to uh hey you should say that instead so yeah there's that we're going to slam it um yeah we definitely need to find some better wheels because those are kind of ugly we're going to do all of this. Now, I don't know. How much does it weigh? 3,500 pounds. So we might actually do the weight reduction. And we are obviously going to throw in the roll cage because this is a Jim Connick car. Yeah, so it weighs just over 3,000 pounds with the uh, race with the reduction. So, yeah, this thing is definitely going to want to... See, I don't want this to be a massively powerful build. So we are going to... We're going to do the flywheel because that helps acceleration. And we are going to maybe do the supercharger. And that's about it. Yeah, so we're going to do the supercharger. And we might do... Let's go ahead and beef up the intercooler just a little bit. Just for terms of... Fuck it. Yeah, 661 horsepower. I think that's going to be okay. And we're going to try and see if we can go find some cooler wheels for this car. I don't know if there's going to be anything that actually suits it. Uh, this is one of those things I don't imagine there being any... Actually, those wouldn't look too bad if they were black. Now that I look at it, yeah, I don't think those would be too bad if they were black. But we're going to keep looking anyway. Um, those are, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see, what we got going on over here? This is a Gymkhana build. So, let's throw on some Gymkhana style wheels. Yeah, let's do that. Just to kind of give it the, um, that Gymkhana... I guess appearance, not really an appearance because it's still a truck. I don't think we're going to go up to 18s and we're going to go paint these wheels um, possibly black, maybe to match the trim just a little bit better. And I think that's pretty much the build, guys. I think that's pretty much it. So we ended up with 661 horsepower and it weighs just over 3,000 pounds. So it's a bit weighty, but it's got quite a bit of torque also. I'm going to go and paint the wheels and see if I can maybe match that color just a little bit better. And I will see you guys once I have that done and finished. Oh, there it goes. I was wondering why it wouldn't let me see the auction house. Anyway, I will see you guys once I have the wheels matched up fairly decently. 
Okay, so the wheels were actually a hell of a lot easier than the match than I thought they were going to be. This is what the Cyclone looks like. Really nothing special, but still I figured you guys would like to see that. And, yeah, it's Forzathon, huh? Okay, let's see. What, what do you got for us, Anna? What do we have? We've got um, Off-Road and Rally. Perform 100 kangaroo skills to win three wheel spins. Well, I think that I can totally do that. 30% off on all of the... Oh, oh, we are totally going to do that. I totally want the Gurkha. And we're going to complete a bucket challenge that ends in the Outback to earn 10,000. Okay, I'll do those on my own time. Obviously, we're not going to be doing that in the episode, but uh, I'm definitely going to do that because I think that that could be relatively interesting. Actually, let's get rid of some of these uh, cluster fuckage on the map. We're going to come over here to some drift zones. That way, because... Wow, my, my mind completely fucked up there. Because Drift Zone's really, in all honesty, when you think of Jim Connor car, that's all we really give a fuck about. Um, yeah, so this thing is going to... Okay, yeah. I've got to remember, this is an all-wheel drive car, so I can't just... I can't just whip it around the corner and then expect it to fight me. For traction? Okay, well... Okay, yeah, this might be a little bit more of a handful than I expected it to be. But that's okay. That's kind of what we were going for, to be honest. Uh, the last thing that we built was a Subaru Impreza 2004. And it was absolutely astonishing to drive. Are you astonishing? Yeah. It was fantastic. That's kind of what I'm going for. Um, but yeah, it was amazing. It was such a cool thing to drive. And this thing, I don't really have much control over it right now. So what I think we are going to do is park up, do a quick little tune real quick because I don't have any control whatsoever ever, ever on this car. So we're going to stiffen up these, lower the front. I am actually going to lengthen the gears just a tiny bit. Maybe give ourselves some camber. Try about, let's maybe try a little bit closer to even. And we're going to do this and try all this stuff. See if we can maybe make this a little bit more controllable, a little bit more predictable. Right now, it just kind of wants to slide laterally. It doesn't really want to slide in any given direction. That is really stiff. I don't think I need you that stiff, to be honest. So we're going to lower you guys and lower the, the right height all the way down. That is, wow, this thing is super stiff, man. What the hell? Why is this thing so damn stiff? I don't, I don't understand. Lower you to about 8.5... A lower you to four, and everything else seems relatively okay. I do want the rear to be about 70. We're gonna lock this, and we're gonna go ahead and try this out. See if maybe this will drive a little bit better, maybe a little bit more controllable. I don't know, it should be. Hopefully, um, I'm not really the best when it comes to uh, tuning all wheel drive drift cars, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna drive all the way down here to uh. Oh yeah, that is definitely a lot more oversteery, that's for sure. We're going to drive on down to this little drift zone over here, give it a shot, and then see how well it performs there. It does feel a little bit better. I think I might have lengthened the gears just a little bit too much, but if we need to, obviously we can and we will um, shorten them if, if we have call for it. Almost kill the Prius. Make sure we get slowed down. And, yeah, so it is a lot more predictable, but I do think that my gears are a little bit too long. So we're going to try to maybe flick ourselves around here as much points as we possibly can. Come all the way down to second gear. We're just a little bit too far or so. I think what's happening is that since we are kind of losing our drive when it comes to the uh, gear, because I think our gears are a little bit too long. I think what's happening is that, oh, I forgot we're online and we can't stop. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I am in a uh, private session because I don't want to be running into driver tours while we're trying to do this. But yeah, I think since we're kind of losing our drive, the car is not really finding the, uh, the ability to kind of pull itself out of a drift. So we're going to try this. This should... Oh, hello there, BMW. How's it going? But yeah, this should help us kind of control these slides just a little bit better. So we're going to try and hit this again just one more time. And then what I think we're going to do is head into the uh, the rainforest. Oh yeah, that is much better. 
much better. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to head into the rainforest and maybe kind of tear up those roads just a little bit. That is like my favorite place to go on this map. It is just... The roads there feel incredible. And it's really easy to connect a lot of those corners. I don't know what it is about the rainforest, but it feels fantastic to go out there and hang around a bit. So we're going to go do that. And I will see you guys... Maybe once we get there, or if maybe if I get distracted by something, I'll see you guys then. Okay, so change of plans. I wanted to come to the industrial little area. Um, I haven't really ever come around here and played around here. And this just seems like the perfect coon spot, if you guys know what I mean. I did make a little bit of an adjustment to the suspension. Since we were coming over here, I went ahead and kind of loosened everything up so we could deal with this offer just a little bit better. But, um, yeah, I wanted to come over here and hear just because I figured it would be a little bit more entertaining than going through the same roads that we have been in the past couple of Horizon Drift Build episodes. So, I know there's an... There it is. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for the elevated, uh, elevated little section of this little area. And we're going to come up here and maybe see if we can get some cool donuts going on. Nothing beats an all-wheel drive donut, man. Nothing in the world can be an all-wheel drive down. Come all the way down to first gear. We're going to slide around right here, and we're going to come back down here. Now, this is a really cool place to come and test your cars, man. It is, at least from what I've seen. Now, like I said, I've never really been over here all that much. We are hitting some... Oh, man, we hit some of those uh, wooden uh, plank pallets. Wooden pallets. We hit some of those coming off of that... Uh, Coming off of that little initiation there, but didn't hurt us anything. We didn't uh, lose our points at all, which is great. So, let's see if we can maybe get this water splashed a little sideways, and we're dead. Yeah, but yeah, this is a really cool place from what I've seen to come and test your uh, your rally cars because it's really narrow, and it kind of reminds me of that uh, rally fish, that dirt rally fish, whatever uh, drift school in. Oh, I don't remember exactly where it's at. But it kind of reminds me of their little training facility. And I think if you guys know what I'm talking about, you guys will uh, kind of see the connection there. And this thing really, it still really wants to uh, slide out a bit wide. I don't know, maybe it has too much horsepower. That or my tire discrepancy between the front and rear, rear is too high. I don't know. I don't really know if that would play that much of a role. But, uh, I mean, it feels good though, dude. It feels good. You can really use the brakes a lot. Don't oh my wreck. And now it's raining. But yeah, you can really use the brakes a lot. And whenever you do so, it's nice and controlled. So it's really... It works. I think that this could actually be a fairly decent uh, Jim Connor car. Now, I had one of these built in Raya Forza 6 as a drift car. And it was a blast to drive. Mind you, it had near a thousand horsepower. And um, it was a bit of a handful to... Uh, to control, but nonetheless, it's still a lot of fun to drive. And this one also, I mean, it's, it's kind of... If you can kind of work with the way that the car likes to swing out, it's actually kind of predictable once you get used to it. It's not driving the way I would like it to. That was really close. That was really, really close. Can we come up here? Oh, that is not what I thought that was. I thought that was going to turn around into another uh, elevated section. However, I just noticed... There's a 20,000 board up there that I don't have yet, and that will give us a uh, wheel spin, hopefully. I don't know why I'm really excited about a wheel spin. We're probably just going to do some bullshit, you know, 5k or whatever, but we're going to see if we can go and try and hit that in just a bit. And yeah, I'm actually, I'm rather impressed with this uh, little cyclone. It's, once you get used to it, it is a very, very controllable car. Now I was, yeah, I kind of figured that was going to happen. I don't think I had enough steam built up. But uh, I think I can maybe challenge the likes of Kim Block. Maybe. No, I'm, I'm kidding. God, please know I'm kidding. I'm not being serious. But uh, yeah, we're going to see if we can maybe get up here. And then stop. Can we stop in time? Yes, we can. Okay, awesome. We're going to get this board. That, there it is. I know I saw one. On, and there we go. There's our level one. So we're going to drive off of this like a madman. And then maybe to close off the episode... What we're going to do is spin that wheel. However, um, there is one place I want to go real quick. 
Okay, so I wanted to come here for one reason and one reason only. This drift zone that we're about to hit was one of those ones that just worked really well with the Subaru from the last all-wheel drive build. And I wanted to see how well the uh, Cyclone could handle it. This is, oh, I'm going the, am I going the right way? I think I'm going the right way. I am not going the right way. Oh, wow. Well, I completely made myself look like a noob on the camera. However, that's not the first time I've done that. But yeah, I wanted to come over here because this drift zone just, I don't know, there's something about it. Maybe because it's really flowing, it's its really wide, and you can really hit it with a lot of speed. And I wanted to see how well the, uh, the Cyclone would handle it. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit this coming from both ways. We're going to hit it one time going this way, the one time going the opposite way. But as you guys can see, you just really, really throw all, all of your all-wheel drive drift cars around this specific... Oh, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. I should have dabbed the brakes just a little bit. But yeah, this trip zone is really all-wheel drive drift car friendly. And I wanted to see if maybe I could beat my personal best on this drift zone in the Cyclone. So we're going to come down here. We're going to build up some speed and maybe give it one more shot and then after we do that we're going to end the episode off with a wheel spin that being said though i hope you guys have enjoyed this video it was a little random and i know this probably isn't the vehicle that all of you guys wanted to see me use but that being said if you guys do have any suggestions don't forget to tell me in the comments section below so let's get this thing thrown around yeah I don't know, this, this drift zone is just a lot of fun, it really is. Uh, it's not so much accessible in all in rear wheel drive cars, just because you kind of lose steam coming around the uh, coming around some of these corners, but oh, we were so close to getting my personal best. I don't know if I did it. I did it! Success! Awesome! Okay, cool. Well, I am extremely happy with that. I am really happy with the Cyclone. It did a lot better than I thought it would. But uh, that's kind of the fun about the Forza, man. Anything can be entertaining enough to to want to drive. And Cyclone is one of those. You know, it's not something that I'm really all that excited about. But this is definitely not on my um, dream car list. Get the fuck out of here. But uh, yeah, it's definitely not like on my dream car list. But it is such a cool vehicle to drive. Because it can get some massive amounts of horsepower. And it's just a really small truck. And it's really... Really, really cool, man. I, I absolutely love this. This thing drove like a dream, and we just beat it again. Awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to do a little celebratory donut. Because all-wheel drive, you can do that easily, just like that. And then we're going to park off and do our wheel spin to end the episode off. But however, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to slay that like button. All of your support is definitely welcome and appreciated. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I do two videos a day, Monday through Friday, and you guys can find my Facebook, Twitter, and we won the catalog. Out of all of the things that we could have won in this wheel spin, we won the fucking Cadillac. Uh, Forza, the bane of your my existence are your wheel spins. But yeah, you can find my Facebook, Twitter, my car throttle in the description box below. And if you guys have any suggestions that you guys want to see, any cars you want to see built, any good Jimconic car ideas, Tell me in the comic section below, because I would love to hear them, and I would love to incorporate them into a video. That being said, though, guys, that's it. I'm out of here. I will see you guys tomorrow, and until tomorrow, peace.